Amy Rose Ramos is with the folks out and about because this is a big night. The stars are out, the lights are on, the Ravens are on Monday Night Football. Amy Rose. That's right, Mark. We are here. Check it out. The party is here. The Ravens clock is here. They have been arriving every single hour in the past few minutes and hours. There is barbecue. There is bartenders. There are a bunch of things going on here. Everybody is Ravens ready, ready to cheer on their team as they head in tonight. Everybody is so confident that they're going to win against the Colts, but they are going to be cheering them on every step of the way. It's Ravens. It's Monday Night Football. You know, we're ready to go. For Tailgate Mike, today is about tradition. We've been tailgating in this lot for at least 15 years. On Monday, him and his son were some of the first to come out and show their support for their team. They bring us good energy on Sundays, Mondays, and we try to do it back for them. At their spot, right on the corner of Hamburg and Russell. When they drive by, we want to make sure they see that we're here and uh, ready to go. And in Federal Hill, Preparations are underway at Mother's Purple Patio. Move our tent over, move the picnic tables out of the way, set up a stage, get a DJ set up, create two bars that you normally aren't there, set up a grill. So, you know, there's about seven hours of planning. Where the slogan is come early, stay late, and wear purple. To have a great time and root for the Ravens. And while Colts fans are welcome to, the rivalry isn't far removed. They're going to lose, of course, the Colts. A rivalry that reaches all the way to the top of city leadership. In a tweet Sunday, Mayor Brandon Scott challenged the Indianapolis mayor to wear a Ravens jersey if Baltimore wins, writing, can't wait to see him in a Ravens jersey, vowing to do the same if the Colts win, but confident he won't have to. But outside M&T Bank Stadium, Mike and his son proudly in their purple, already toasting to a victory. We could be sitting at home on our couch or we could be here, so we'd rather be here. And one of the best things that we've been noticing throughout today is just everybody's own expression of their Ravens fanship, how they express their own love for this team. And as the parking lot continues to fill up, everybody just sort of driving in, partying, and getting ready for this game, this 8:15 kickoff. They are so excited for what's to come and for that sure to be victory. Reporting live, I'm Andy Rose Ramos for WJZ. What a difference a year makes, Andy Rose. I was told there wow. would be more food. Where are the ribs? The ribs? Yeah, oh, huge. you can find. Annie Rose can find ribs. I can guarantee you that. <laughs> ribs, hot dogs, hamburgers. It's all going to be there somewhere, Annie Rose. Oh, my gosh, you guys. I've had a fried oyster. I've had a rib. I've had a wing. I just don't even want to talk about it anymore because there is so much to eat here, so much good food, and the party is just, just getting started. So we'll see. Let's see how I last. <laughs> that's a lot of so food. Far. I don't want her stomach playing I, The combat. fried oyster, that's a new one on me. All right. Yeah. Sit down, take some Alka-Seltzer. You'll be fine, I'm sure. <laughs>